How's it going, everyone? The Packers are bringing in another defensive lineman for a top 30 visit of theirs. So in this one, we're looking at LSU defensive lineman Mason Smith. So Mason Smith is the sixth best defensive lineman in this year's draft, according to the consensus draft board, and is currently ranked 68th overall. He did attend the NFL Combine this year, and he tested pretty well. So he comes after the NFL Combine testing with a RAS score of 8.99. He comes in at six foot five and 306 pounds, had a vertical jump of 31 inches and a broad jump of nine feet. His 40 yard dash was a 5.01 seconds. And when comparing to the rest of the defensive linemen, he comes in at ninth best at the 40 yard time. Now at the combine, he also didn't participate in the bench press, but during LSU's pro day, he did actually participate in it. And he ended up doing 22 reps of the bench press, which unfortunately puts him down at second to last if we're to compare it to all the NFL combine numbers, with the lowest one being Justin Rogers at 21, and then above him, Makai Wingo at 25. So didn't really put up a good number in terms of the bench press, especially for a defensive lineman. For his time at the collegiate level, he spent three years all at LSU. So in 2021, he ended up playing seven games, had 19 total tackles, five tackles for loss, and four sacks. In his second year, he only played one game and didn't accumulate any stats because unfortunately during the eighth play of the season against Florida State, he hopped up to celebrate and unfortunately tore his ACL and his season was lost. And then coming into his final year, he played 12 games, had 28 total tackles, four and a half tackles for loss and two and a half sacks with two pass defended. And if we're to look over at the PFF grades for him in the 2021 season, he had a defensive grade of 58.6, a run defensive grade of 50.6, tackling grade of 48.6, pass rush grade of 67.8, and a coverage grade of 65.8. And in his second year, he did have a decent grade for the seven to eight snaps that he played, but they're pretty much irrelevant. And then in his final year, he ended up with a 64.7 defensive grade, a 56.7 rush defense grade, an 82, to 82 tackling grade, 74.8 pass rushing grade and a 64.1 coverage grade. And in his final year, he ended up having two or 19 total pressures against the offense. So he ended up with two sacks, two hits and 15 hurries and had a pretty good season. But as you can see in just the two full years that he did play, he's mainly kind of just a pass rushing defensive lineman not really good in the run defensive part. So what are some of the positives for Mason Smith? He has great size and decent short area quickness for an NFL defensive tackle. Impressive get off, reacts quickly to the snap and has solid acceleration off the line of scrimmage, allowing him to get a nice initial surge off the ball. Has pop in his hands and the upper body strength to control and lock out offensive linemen at the line of scrimmage. Block recognition against the run has improved with more experience, but he's Definitely going to have to keep improving that, considering he hasn't been graded very well. And has a good arm over move that he has that he uses as a counter off the bull rush when rushing the passer and to help escape blocks against the run. Now for the cons for him, his pad level out of his stance is subpar and inconsistent at best, reducing the effectiveness of his bull rush and making it harder for him to hold ground against double teams has a habit of sta stopping his feet on contact, leading to issues against double slash combo blocks and against interior offensive linemen who can survive his initial surge. He needs to improve his use of hands as a pass rusher, lets offensive linemen make the first significant contact and hang onto, the, on, onto him too much, limiting how many clean wins he gets, and has limited pass rush arsenal beyond his arm over move. So going into this draft, he's currently viewed as a day two pick. There are some people who think he could be a late round two pick, but he's more viewed as probably a mid to late round three pick. And that's due to his upside. He has a lot of good things to like about him. He's very versatile and he's got a bit of athleticism to him, especially as a defensive tackle. And a lot of teams do like that. He's also very young. He's currently 21 years old, so pretty young. So the Packers are going to bring him in, obviously, and see how he's doing after the ACL. He seemed to produce very well a year removed from that ACL and did good in his final year at LSU. And they might have some questions because he was suspended a game when he came back in that 2023 season. The first game, shockingly and ironically, against Florida State again. 
Now, the reason he was suspended is, depending on how you look at it, it could just be minor. So it was determined that he received an improper benefit stemming from a pre-NIL era auto autograph signing in 2021. So he was suspended a game because he signed an autograph and he received some type of benefit. In today's age, college players are actually allowed to receive benefits a bit now, but back in the day they weren't and it was shunned upon. So depending on what your viewpoint on that, it seems a bit minor and really shouldn't be a big knock on him going into this draft. But the potential because he had the ACL injury, maybe some doctors, especially the Packers, want to kind of make sure. Then also interview him, make sure there's no character problems, considering he did still break the rules during the time where signing an autograph and getting some type of benefit was frowned upon and is was known to be breaking the rules. So they might still have questions on that front. But at the end of the day, he's an interesting defensive tackle prospect for the Packers. He's not going to come in and pretty much start. He could be a good rotational player for us, especially on third down, since he's such a good pass rusher. But on that rush defense, it's a lot left to be desired. But on obvious passing downs, bringing him in and, you know, keeping players fresh amongst that line, he could prove to be a possible good piece to have on this team, even in just a rotational sense, until they develop him and get him better. If you know, things happen to go that way for it. But let me know what you think down in the comments. If you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And as always, Go Pack Go!